Ah, uh, what's the point? When I like them, they don't like me. When they like me, I don't like them. <laughs> Why can't I act with the ones I like the way I do with the ones I don't like? Well, you've only got another 50 years or so to go, and it'll all be over. <laughs> Maybe I need someone who doesn't speak English. Yeah, how about a mute? A mute would be good. Ah, where are you gonna meet a mute? This is what my life has come to, trying to meet a mute. I don't know, Jerry, something's missing. There's a void, Jerry, there's a void. A deep, yawning chasm. There's gotta be more to life than this. What gives you pleasure? Listening to you. I listen to this for 15 minutes, I'm on top of the world. Your misery is my pleasure. Hey, boys. Hey, how you doing? Good. OK, well, it's all set. I start tomorrow. Start what? I signed up to do volunteer work with senior citizens. Really? Yeah. God, I can't tell you how I feel. I mean, I feel so good. I really feel good. The strange thing is, I mean, I haven't even met the woman yet. <laughs> volunteer work, huh? What are you going to do down there? Well, they say all it is is you go over to their apartment and, I don't know, you take them out for a walk, you get a cup of coffee, and it's supposed to make them feel good. That's what I do with them. <laughs> Wait, when did you get this idea? Last time I had lunch with you here. You were going on and on and on about how you wanted to meet somebody who didn't speak English. What, are you breaking in with her, then you try it out on me? <laughs> and, and anybody could do this? Yep. Yeah. Really? Helping people? Of course. Of course. It makes perfect sense. How could I not be doing this? I am gonna help somebody, damn it! What about you? Nah, it's not for me. Jerry, if anybody should be doing this, it's you. What kind of a person are you? I think I'm pretty much like you. Only successful. <laughs> wonderful thing you're doing. They're so grateful just to have someone to talk to. And I can tell you that everyone who participates finds the experience extremely rewarding. Well, I feel better already. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm feeling like a good person. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, hey what, what, what's your guy's name again? Fields, Sidney Fields. 87 years old. 87? Hmm. How about your guy? Uh, ben Cantwell, 85. Hmm. Huh? You think we'll make it to that age? We? No. Hey. So, what's up, diggity dog? George and I just signed up with the Senior Citizens Volunteer Agency. Same thing Elaine's doing. Oh, that's too bad. Now, don't say I didn't try to warn you. What are you talking about? Oh, Jerry, I'm surprised at you. What? It's a con. These agencies are usually a front for some money laundering scheme or they're bunko artists, bilking people out of their life savings. Oh, yeah. Where did you get this? The alternative media, Jerry. That's where you hear the truth. Prima? Huh? Prima? Prima! Where are you? Prima! Prima! Come on, I'm in here. Come on. Thank you. There you are. Yeah. Hello, Newman. <laughs> Jerry, George, so did you ask him about the records? Well, yeah. What records? Uh, well, uh, Newman and I are going partners selling used records. <laughs> you know Ron's records down on Bleecker? They pay big cash for used records. Yeah, so we thought if you had any of those big, you know, old-fashioned, useless records just, you know, you know lying around. You, you know, take you... them off your hands, yeah. free of charge. Let me ask you something. Well, what do you do for a living, Newman? I'm a United States postal worker. <laughs> Aren't those the guys that always go crazy and come back with a gun and shoot everybody? Sometimes. <laughs> Why is that? Because the mail never stops. It just keeps coming and coming and coming. There's never a let up, it's relentless. Every day it piles up more and more and more and you gotta get it out, but the more you get out, the more it keeps coming in. And then the barcode reader breaks and it's published his clearinghouse. All right, all right, all right. 